I'm going to um, I'm going to do a song for you now that I did on the, the radio this morning um, in, in Salida. It's from the new record, and it's a song. The, the lyrics are actually a poem from a guy called Thomas McDonough. Thomas McDonough was a, a instrumental in uh, the early part of the 20th century in, in, um, in helping, to, uh, her- helping Ireland to gain its freedom in the Republic. And he was part of the 1916 Rising. And um, there was a lot, of, a lot of us musicians back in 2016 being the 100th anniversary of the Rising. There's a lot of us that wanted to um, contribute something, uh, maybe in the way of a song or a piece of music. And a lot of people did. I found it very difficult. Um, so um, I decided instead to take a, a poem from someone that was there, namely Thomas McDonough, who was a prolific poet, uh, an English scholar, as well as an activist. Um, and this is a poem of his called At the End, which celebrates the coming of spring. And I always think, as I, I tend to say a lot, I put it to music and I'll, I hope that Thomas would have liked it. I n- never have any way of knowing that, of course. But it's called At the End, and the only words in here are Thomas's words. story of a long sweet spring with its gold and its feasts and its glory of the moons then that carried green may to mellow September long noons that ne'er tarry life's hail and farewell to remember and the haste of our years has rushed to the fall of our sorrow to the waste of our tears the hush and the pall of all our morrow sorrow to the waste of our tears the hush and the pall of all our morrow the song that I sing should have told you an Easter story of a long sweet spring with its gold and its feasts and its glory with its gold and its feasts and its glory Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like that.